Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Here we are, back in the Zentrim hideout. Uh, I have done quite a bit of trading. We now have uh, a lot of money. Uh, I did buy some things, so we'll go through some of the things that I bought. And uh, I did also respec Lazel a little bit, so she is going to be uh, more focused around medium armor. I actually just got her the ability score improvements um, that increased her strength and her dexterity by one. Um, so that she can actually make use of the plus two dex bonus. So she'll be in medium armor. Um, I guess we won't have a heavy armored character for now, which uh, is unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So, uh, yeah, she's got uh, the sparky points, the trident, and is using the glowing shield. I have given uh, Shadowheart the Absolute's Warboard instead, and Gale has... Um, I put him in the Poisoner's Rope, because he does have a couple of spells here that are going to, you know, just get a little bit of extra stuff. If we find ourselves facing things that do cold damage, we can always give him the Rope of Summer back. I'm just going to keep both on him for now. And, uh, yeah, he still has the Staff of Crones, and everything is looking cool. I've given him a snazzy hat, too, so everybody is hatted out except for Ash, because uh, the hats don't work with Ash's hair. Um, so, I was looking around through here, and there's actually somebody else that we can talk to. Vol. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay. What well. path lies before me? And we got some large doggos. Oh, I hate wolves. I didn't realize you were frightened of wolves, Shadowheart. Oh. I'm a good animal. That's Everyone's interesting. Everyone's frightened of something. My fear is hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those things. Okay. I gotta talk to her. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. <laughs> Aww. At least, not alone. All right, all right. Um... Wolves, though? Really? They're just dogs with no table manners. And I'm not gonna... If it was anybody else, I would say this, but I... I, I Ash cares about Shadowheart. Alright, I'll try to avoid wolves in the future, where possible. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. Okay. Also, I dyed um, some armor, so uh, yeah. Shadowheart now looks, you know, suitably edgy again in her, uh, you know, dark dyed armor. So we're gonna head over here and talk with uh, Jarg. Hi, Jarg. Had a peach of a shot on you as you came in. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I believe it. What about these guys? Round and round again. Master gets confused, I think. Okay. And you? The dark smells wrong. Not night dark. Wait and dark. Hmm. What does that mean? Okay, barrels here. All we can do is steal from them. All we can do is lockpick our way into that gate. So let's not do that. But there is a lot of, uh... Oh, man. All kinds of things here. But we're not supposed to be here, so... I guess we leave. Ah, oh, there's another wolf. Careful. No stone scent. No stone sound. Strange stone here. Okay, that's the second wolf that has been talking about this place like there's something a little weird going on here. So, uh, maybe there's more to this place. I'm not gonna spend too much time here. here. If I were you, see all that smoke powder? The flaming fist won't find nothing here but Yeah, rubble. they're gonna blow everything up. We know. <laughs> um. Yeah, we don't want to be uh, stuck down here. So I guess this is how we leave, right? Oh, go through the secret entrance into the Underdark. Excuse me? This is a secret entrance? But what's up here? This doesn't lead to anything that we know of. This can just go up here. To... Ah! To just right here. Alright. But... No, 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 no. Ditch the custom marker. I want to... wish the map would align itself in the way that I'm... Looking on this map, can we do that? I don't know what's north. Yes, I do. That's north. <laughs> okay. Less confused. 
a secret entrance to the Underdark. So, supposedly... You know what? Maybe we can go in this way. I'm just going to walk over here, because there's this little platform here. And it did seem to indicate that there's something going on here, so... It doesn't look like there's anything going on here, but maybe... There's something we can interact with as we go through here. Oh, hold on, what is that? Let me uh, just move this out of the way. Hopefully that doesn't trigger any hostility. Yeah, bro. Oh, I'm way too big. Okay, so that's a gaseous form. Lovely day, this thing. For now. Which uh, let's have a quick look here. We don't have it. Uh... We need to actually memorize gaseous form. How do we change the memorized spells, actually? Um, Certainly. That's Arcane Recovery. Gotta remember he can do that. He can do a Ray of Sickness, because I would like to actually explore one of these things. Um, maybe we can check it in here? That might be something we can only do um, during a rest. But where do you then do that? But here, spellbook. Aha, here. So we can drop that off. Well, we of course want to have fireball here. Um, I I didn't give him gaseous form. I had a scroll of gaseous form though, didn't I? Um, stinking cloud, feign death, and flight. I'm gonna keep flight ready. I'm gonna ditch grease because we got a million grease bottles. Find familiar. I think I'll keep. I'm gonna ditch sleep. That's not gonna be all that useful. And I'm gonna ditch the fog cloud. And we are instead going to put on... By the way, you may notice some new spells here. Uh, I have a mod installed that adds more spells. They aren't, like, better. They're just different. There's more of them. Cloud of gas that is so nauseating that it prevents creatures from taking actions. I mean, that does sound kind of good. Then we're going to quickly look at uh, Shadowheart as well. See if there's more here that we can uh, give her. Water walk might be quite good. Actually, mass healing word heals up to six allies, but we have the uh, the other thing, and we got a revivify. Well, when I say the other thing, I mean warden of vitality, <laughs> motivational speech. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll put spirits to aid you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 radiant damage or 3 to 24 necrotic damage per turn and their movement speed is half. That sounds really cool. Maybe we can drop a spell? I don't know which one. Spirit Shroud. Yeah, Spirit Shroud's a really good melee buff for her. Revivify. I think I'm gonna drop Revivify. We have scrolls, but it would be nice to be able to use Revivify instead of using a scroll, right? But then again, I'm going to use my level 3 spells in the instances where there's a difficult battle. And I would need Revivify afterwards. I'm going to drop Revivify. And we're going to take this, uh, uh, what was it? It's not Spirit Shroud. What the hell is it? This one. Spirit Guardians. Looks cool. Um... Yeah, and she automatically has these, right? Yeah, so she, these are just ones that she has access to thanks to her domain, maybe? Fear, still curse, mirror image, pass without trace, disguise self, and charm person? I don't know. Seems like she just has access to those. Which is, uh, you know, that's cool. And, uh, yeah, Lazelle has spells as well, but these are just uh, naturally available to her. And, of course, uh, Ash has. Uh, we don't have to worry about preparing spells. Okay, so about the whole gaseous form thing. I did put all of my scrolls in this uh, fake book. So theoretically, we should have a gaseous form scroll. Or did we not? Maybe I didn't buy it. Well, that would be foolish. Okay, I guess we don't have it. That is a pity. And in that case... And move. And head down here. Is there like a, a false what? Yep. Illusion. Why do you want, I wonder. 
Okay. You know what? I think we're going to the Underdark, but we're taking this way. An elevator winch? I can lock pick it? Open. All right, so now we can take this Better elevator that's gonna lead us down, I suppose. So where's this gonna drop us? Not in the Temple of Seluna, that's uh, almost certain. Oh, hello, that's Ash's head. It's, uh, it's dark and we're on a sketchy looking platform. Oh, it's a cutscene. Well, down we go. Hello. Here we are. So yeah, guys, I guess we're doing the uh, Underdark approach. So, have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? No. <laughs> Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor, but if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. Oh, look at that. Sweet cooperation. They're getting along. Everything's just fine. This is all going to camp. I really wish there was a send everything to camp button. You're not locked, or you're not unlocked, I mean. All right, what's in this rustic chest? It's probably gonna be nothing, because it's a rustic chest. It's usually the gilded chests that have good stuff, but you never know. Ah, uh, some explosives. We can never have too many of those. Let's give them to Lazel. Lazel can use some, uh, explodey stuff. I've got plenty of explodey stuff. And, uh, more drinks just laying around here. Why are they here? Open crate with nothing. Open trunk with some, uh, rare reagents. Oil of accuracy. I'm gonna go to Lazel. Basic poisons? We can give that to Lazel too. She actually has a weapon that can use poisons. Uh, courgette? Let's go into camp, as are the potatoes. But valuable finds, especially the, uh, the potatoes. We can never have too many of those. Courgettes are pretty cool too. Um, ah, some apples. Nice storehouse. Ooh. More of these. No traps, please. What do we have here? It's just, uh... Take heed. I see a trap. What trap? I do not see a trap. Oh, there, trap chest. Good to know. Um, I'll have a look. Disarm that. I think we can do it. DC 15. We might actually fail this. Oh no! I think we're gonna explode. This could be bad. I've been watching you fight, Shadowheart. Oops. Your skills are improving. My skills were just fine to begin with. Shadowheart. You can save the compliments. I don't pay compliments. I make observations. Shadowheart, Shadowheart. Come on now. Gotta be diplomatic. I'm using my inspiration here because I don't even want to know what this crap's gonna do. <laughs> okay. It's, we're in a very precarious situation. Say if it, like, blows up the platform or something. It's just instant death. And I don't feel like doing or dealing with that, so we're gonna lockpick this. There better be something good in here. Well, we passed that pretty well. And, uh, what have we? Scrolls of Speak with Dead and a Scroll of False Life. Okay, not the best ever, but... Uh, I'll take it. Anything? Another oil of accuracy. Lots of these. Which is pretty cool, actually. Ooh, a bunch of rings. This place is stashed. Rotten carrot in a fish barrel. I don't think it's a fish barrel. I think it's a rotten carrot barrel. Feed tools. Perfect. Okay, this bridge freaks me out, but we're just gonna... Uh-oh. I don't like the shaking. Get get off the fucking bridge. Gods. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, God. Another rustic chest. Where the hell are we? I mean, aside from being in the Underdark. Like, is this center him still? A scimitar. I didn't like that noise. Let's save. The 
traitor Kithrak takes great interest in this relic of yours, Shadowheart. Or should I say, weapon? What are you hiding? Nothing. I assume your kin are just as misguided as you are. Mm. Ah, so much for them getting along. A rustic chest. This is like a crazy big stash. It just goes on and on. I hope you don't mind all this looting. At the very least, Lazel and Shadowheart appear to be uh, having a heart-to-heart uh, -heart while uh, Ash is snooping around, plundering. Nature failed? What do you Fungal mean? spores. Must be myconids nearby. Myconids? Wait, these are fungus. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, am I, uh... Do I have, a, do I have an issue? Oh. Hush. Do you hear it? They're coming. They're coming. Ah. Uh, tell me I'm not imagining that voice. No. And it's unlike any I've yet heard. They are coming. You are coming. Ah. Uh, where? I'm assuming there's going to be myconids. So myconids are mushroom people. They're pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. I don't know what their status is in the current... Like, uh... Existence of the, uh, the Forgotten Realm setting. Whether they're, like, normally hostile or not. Oh, hello. That's a minotaur. That is not a myconid. And it's probably hostile. It looks hostile. Let's uh, move these boxes out of the way. Create a, uh, a door. And uh, I, don't need any attention right I now. think what we can do is actually blast them from afar. Where are you at? You're all the way over here? Alright, let's uh, enter turn base mode. And I'm just gonna... We're just gonna laser this thing. I mean, it's, a, it's an enemy, right? It's gotta be an enemy. Minotaurs are rarely friendly. We're gonna, uh, oh, there's more. Okay. Damn, she does damage. Whip is out of range. And we are gonna actually move away. I don't know if they have a ranged attack, but I should keep her there. She can absorb the ranged attack. Reckless Roar. So there's some sort of large fungal growth here, obviously. There's mushrooms everywhere in the Underdark, though, so it makes sense. This is definitely a different area of the Underdark than we were in when we dropped down from the Saluna's Temple, which makes sense. We were in a, uh, a different place. Although, no, it's not. That's where Saluna's Temple is. That's it right there. And there was indeed a Minotaur attacking it. Wait, are we going again? I have the rest of the party can do shit. I guess we'll have them do something. Uh, the question is, what? I think, uh... We could kill that one, but then I got nothing to shoot at. So, that's like way out of range. So, you know what? I'm just gonna get Gale involved by shooting a uh, little cantrip there. And then we can get Shadowheart involved concentrate. by uh, also shooting a little cantrip. Except one health already. Wow. Effective surprise round. And then uh, Lazel can just, you know, regularly shoot it with a, uh, a weapon. Down it goes. So it's one dead Minotaur. 75 XP is pretty good. Breathing despite everything. And uh, you're way out of range, so I guess we're just gonna hold here for a second. You coming this way? Yes. Good. Directly into our uh, nest of pain. That is a lot of damage. Okay. So this one's probably not going to be able to get to us either, so I'm just going to continue blasting it with cantrips. No sense in wasting our uh, more powerful spells. I'm very sorry if you want to see our more powerful spells. We will do that as soon as there's a, uh, a fight that we don't have an extreme advantage in. Okay, good. I'm going to pull Gale back just in case, because otherwise he's kind of in a disadvantageous position. I, yeah, it should be able to climb up here, right? But it's got a dash, so... Oh, it's going up that way. Interesting. Well, target is 
path is interrupted. That would be bad. Not this way. Brutal. Have Pull her back. Going. That ought to do. 27 damage on a firebolt. What the actual fuck? I have a lot on my mind. How much damage does it do? In it. Oh, 2 to 20. Mm. I have yeah, okay, so that kind of explains. The cantrips get better. Of course they do. That makes sense, but that's cool. All's well that ends. That's great. Not as bad as it could have. Let's get down there. Loot those minotaurs. Mm. Be wary. <sighs> Please, God, just say, don't walk on that. Guys, guys. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. How they move around. One day, I'll catch a break. We just took a ton of damage from that. All right, Amulet of the Unworthy. It's dark around here. Would be a terrible shame to lose you forever. Okay, guys. Now is not the time. Yes. Do keep your wits, Shadow Heart. Should a dagger suddenly slice your neck, we may never know who's to blame. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to be friends. Um, so we could gain resistance to slashing damage and vulnerability to blood earning damage. I don't know about that one. That may be Gale food. Rogue's morsel. I hope this wasn't like a an encounter that we could have uh, spoken to them through. I imagine not. They look pretty hostile. And as far as I understand, Minotaurs are not very talkative. Oh, that was the burlap sack. We didn't even loot the Minotaur. Okay. They've got quite a bit of, uh, stuff. So, there's a few ways we can go. We can go down. We can go back up. There is more to do up there. So, maybe we should do that. I just wanted to... Oh. Is there another way up? We can probably jump onto here. Yeah. And then we should be able to get to there through regular old jumping. Okay. So, we need to find out where the Myconids are. Because it might be that we just help them. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the Minotaurs were enemies of the Myconids. And that we have ingratiated ourselves with the Mushroom people. Because those are going to be our true allies throughout this. Um, Arsonist's Oil? Coats your weapon in oil that transforms the target's fire resistance into fire vulnerability. We're giving that to... Oh, no, we can't use that on a... Because uh, uh, I was like, we should give that to... Uh, Carlac, but you can't put oil on a flaming weapon. What's which, on your mind? Excuse me. Uh, not right now. I, I do want to do all of the uh, companion interactions, but uh, that may not be today. We're going to see how far we get in the Underdark first. This place is just an absolute treasure trove of useful shit, which is awesome. Hmm. Ripple bark could sustain an entire village if seeded properly. That's maybe good to know. But it doesn't actually seem like the Myconids are here, so they might be somewhere else. But why are the spores here? Oh. I think... Mm -hmm. Move this wheelbarrow. What do we have here? Can I move the wheelbarrow? Target is too far. Target is too far. Not enough space. Target is too far. God damn it. Eager for battle. You move the wheelbarrow. Thank you. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting. What are we here? Anything to go down? No, but we have a chasm creeper, whatever that is. That's some kind of oh, new way. alchemical reagent. I'm not sure if we found any of that yet. But it doesn't look like there's anything else here, so our options. Yeah, our options are basically just to descend back onto this mushroom. Because we unfortunately blew up the, uh, the rope here. And these noises are kind of freaking me out. I guess we'll see what any of this is. So, there's down there, but I'm not going to go down just yet. We're going to stay up. And I'm going to move up here. The Viridian Crystal, ropes morsel. So there's just straight up like crystals growing that you can harvest. That's cool. I love games that you can just gather ingredients. Like, uh, ooh, a nightlight? Is this, is this a torch? Oh, you can harvest it. 
Oh, that's new. Essence of Nightlight. So we, we do this, we pick up the fronds, but it creates darkness. And we have to make a nature test every single time, so there's probably some sort of penalty if we fail. So I'm not sure if we're the best character to do Broken this, but... Must have fallen. Broken bones? Where? Here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. People fell? From where? From all the way up top? That'd be a shitty way to go. Uh-oh. So, then you just don't get it. Okay. What if this crash doesn't work out, Laser? What if your kin fail you? A legit if I question. If the crash, my kin will provide. Any failure will be mine alone. Interesting. If you say so. Just don't expect me to put all my eggs in the same basket. I mean... That expression must sound curious for Gith Yankee year, given the way they're birthed. <laughs> okay, so that is a three-person conversation. I, I didn't know that was a thing. I, I didn't know we had the technology for that kind of stuff. Normally, it's always just two companions, you know, yapping. But uh, three? This is this is unheard of. Never before in the history of gaming. Known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Tin masks. Those. Oh. Okay. Okay. I I am. I am liking, okay, also known as the Devil's Mushroom for its mind-altering effects. I am really liking this environment and the fact that this is a very interactable environment. I was wondering about your queen, Blackith. What tales of her reaches are terrifying. I suppose that's not how you would describe her. Blackith is unity, fear, uh. beauty, life and unlife. Eyes like onyx, teeth like daggers. There's none more perfect. Uh. Sounds vile. Yeah. I assume the meaning of perfect was lost in translation. I have a feeling you're pissing off Lazel again. Uh, so the scrolls here. Ooh, scroll of haste. We need to have him learn that. abso fucking lootly. Um. Okay, so apparently that triggers when you walk like anywhere near it. Okay, so it did it again. Right, there were two. Oh, it's still it's still active, and there's just a million scrolls here. Let's blow them up. None of that. I'm done with these damn tin masks. Those are horrible. It's like a big area. But good to know. So we blow those up on site. More of this uh just regular spores in here. What is that? What is what? Wasn't a bullet. Oh no. Save. Are you shitting me? Okay, I did um you know, hap haphazardly mention to one of my friends during a, a role-playing session that was not D&D that like bullets are some of my favorite D&D creatures and he was like, "Oh yeah, you'll see some of those in Baldur's Gate." And I'm like, "Don't tell me where." <laughs> I think I know where. Is this is this a boulette fight? Oh god. Scroll of color spray. Alright. Ready and willing. First off, um, you are learning everything that you don't already know. Well, the other ball, you apparently don't know that. And you're definitely learning haste. Haste is amazing. Uh scroll of false life? Screw it, learn that. Still have two of them. Anyways. Okay, can you uh get out of here? It's kind of annoying that it gets in the way. Scroll of glyph of warding. Well, better learn it. Shouldn't be anything else here for him to learn. Okay, the rest of these we just use as needed. And he can't learn. No. <laughs> Alright. No time to rest. I'm uh, gonna take a quick short rest. Enough time Everybody wasted. Everybody is a bit damaged. Battle awaits. Yeah, I think battle does await, because I think we're about to fight Oh no. Look at this. This is this is horrible. We gotta take this place out from afar. Are these torch stalks? Are these things we can... No, they, they also look like they're probably dangerous. This whole place looks kind of dangerous. Oh, yeah. Tilaskan torch stalks. Hell of a combination. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Not today. 
So, about the Underdark being dangerous, I see what they mean. Okay. Dead Durgar and a Mykonid. I had a bag of holding. And a scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter and a scroll of Shatter. What is Shatter? Is that also a spell? I mean, it, why is it green? Is there something unique about it? It's just a green scroll. It's just a regular spell, right? Lost but in thought. You could learn. Yeah. Let's move. Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh, hello. I am really sorry for blowing up all of your stuff. By a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. Oh, no. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Um... Seek understanding. Focus on the Sovereign's song. My insight is not great. I could persuade him. I will attempt persuasion. I'm a traveler. No, but that's that's a dumb. I'm a traveler seeking adventure. No. Um, tell the truth of the parasite. You only seek safe passage in search of your treatment. I think we can trust these people. They're mushrooms. Um, but his name is Sovereign, which leads me to suspect he might be a reaper. In which case, I don't trust him. But I don't know. He doesn't look like a reaper. Fungal roots weave through your mind. Seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit. But we still might commune. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent mm. music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects oh, they you. They look so cool. Alright, this is awesome. Hell yeah, Myconids. I, I'm surprised they're actually in this game. Like, I, I would expect Drow and probably Durgar. Well, I wonder if there's more, like, Underdark creatures. I really hope we encounter, like, an Aboleth. Because, uh, well... Let's see. Oh, no, not a dead Myconids. It's from the Minotaurs, isn't it? Noxious Myconid? So we can talk to them. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Okay. Come to me. We must speak. Alright. Um, I will do that. Waypoint discovered. We are in the Myconid colony. It's really cool. They actually, uh, this is amazing. They, they, they move differently. This looks straight. Could sustain an entire village if seen it properly. Who's saying that? Meanwhile, that guy. I was, I, I'm basically expecting him to be like flip, flop, splish, splash. You know, they, they look like those types that would say that. Oh, you are a merchant. That. Is the most off. fortuitous. Hello. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. Hobgoblin. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. Oh. His voice spills oh, into no. your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <laughs> Perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. <laughs> uh, so he's like, he's going full mushroom. 
That's pretty cool. See, look, we can talk to a goblinoid without violence. We saw him here amongst the mushrooms. I just immediately assumed he's not hostile, and he's not. He seems quite well learned. Um, and he's he's part of the mushroom covenant, which uh, you know, maybe maybe Ash also longs become part of the mushroom covenant. Uh, I've never heard of this society. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Interesting. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Uh, my player infected me with a tadpole. I'm going to be honest. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? I'm going to explain the whole story. He's a scholar, after all. This would be good for him to know. Maybe his kind will help us later. You were infected by an illithid tadpole? It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may See? be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. What the fuck? That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps? Definitely eye. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. <laughs> uh... Warlock, I've made a lot of strange allies for information. Let's hear it. <laughs> Fool. They infest your head and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be... charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Oh boy. Um, this is triggering some trauma for Ash. But at the same time... The Society of Brilliance. Hobgoblins and Mind Flayers. Both, you know, normally rather sketchy. But this Hobgoblin seemed super chill. This Mind Flayer also seems alarmingly chill. Could be a ruse. This could be a very bad idea. But Ash is getting kind of desperate here, because she doesn't want to start, you know, snorting tadpoles. Tadpole samples uh, at the behest of the sketchy dream visitor. Better to trust what clearly could be an enemy than what is clearly masking its true form. Because our dream visitor, I don't think the form that it has chosen for us, or that it has chosen for us to see, is its real form. I don't trust it at all. You know, I sort of realize this because you actually get to create what the dream visitor looks like. Which is pretty cool. But this guy, this mind flayer, uh, Omelum, I mean, he's just a mind flayer. He, he's openly a mind flayer, not... Disguising himself, I'm sure he could if he wanted to. And he's very honest. Like, he's not... Or at least, he seems to be very honest. He's not in collusion with his people. That is the vibe I'm getting. Thus, that's the vibe Ash is getting. I'm going to force... Or Ash is going to force herself to relax. This is a, uh... A moment for her. As Omeluan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. Sick it gesture, feels bro. ten times its size, 
alive, mm. awake, almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. Mm. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Ah, fuck. Yeah. What happens if that stasis goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect yeah. your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but <laughs> that wasn't my point. <laughs> uh, no, that was not useless. Because knowing that it's in stasis and knowing that when it triggers, it's going to happen instantaneously. That changes how we need to uh, interact with it. Uh, can you extract it? I'm assuming you can't. But... No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Uh, that doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell him about the strange mind flare ship. I, you know, Ash has their theories that this might not be a normal mind flare thing, and it does seem to uh, be pointing in that direction, so we'll see if he has any more information. A nautiloid? Fascinating. Oh. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Well, thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal, but I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There uh. may be a way to bypass that stasis. Uh. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Do we, do we want to do that? Bypass? Uh, isn't the stasis why the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Oh boy. This is even more dangerous. Okay, bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have... Subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause yeah. confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self explanatory. Okay, uh, lovely. Uh, I know where to find them. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Yeah. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. Yeah, should. Uh. Lovely, so where do I find these? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Lenore? Um. Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. Okay. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Sousa Bark, which can apparently a little bit of it can feed an entire village. 
Um, all right, I'll come back when I find them. May your travels be safe and swift. I assure you they will probably not, but uh, thanks for the... I have never seen anything like it, Blue. Is my species evolving? Okay, that's fascinating. Perhaps, but an accelerated, but at such an accelerated rate, he says. Hmm. It simply shouldn't be possible, Omelium answers. All right, we can. I think... Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Never seen a hobgoblin like you before. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. Oh. So it is Not with the fast. Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Research in the Underdark sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. What have your studies uncovered? This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. Hmm. So that's why he wants to make it a safer place by... Like, expanding their horticultural capabilities so that they don't need to constantly be fighting for resources? That's fucking cool. These guys are awesome. These are, I think, two of my favorite, like, non you know, party characters we've encountered in this game. I do right. enjoy a trade. bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Let's have a quick look. Oh, he's got some scrolls here. Um, scroll of banishment. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence. Animate dead. We won't be using that. We won't be doing necromancy. Dimensional door. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. That could be quite long range. The ally cannot be larger than medium. Scroll of slow. Slow could be good. Um, yeah, these are worth a bit. But what about the uh, the items here? The Baneful. It's a staff. The blade's magical powers only function if it's bound to an Eldritch Knight or is a Warlock's Pact weapon. Ooh. Well, Lazel is an Eldritch Knight, right? That's your, your class, right? Your, your multi-class level 5 fighter? It is an Eldritch Knight, I think. I can't tell. Uh, Circle of Blasting. Okay, so that just grants Scorching Ray. <laughs> how, how often? Uh, it's T, right? Yeah, T. Once per long rest. I mean, that's still fucking cool. The Lifebringer. Uh, Life Charger. When the wearer gains Lightning Charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. Alright, who's doing my Lightning Charge stuff? That's, that's her, right? Oh, wait, she's not proficient in tridents. Oh. Really? Then maybe I should give her this. Yeah, she can She can use this. It's only a short sword, but it still actually does more damage. Screw, screw it. I'm buying it. It looks cool. Um, and I think I'm going to give her the Lifebringer. Like, she would gain temporary hit points. If the wearer runs out of lightning charges, it disappears. Yeah, so... Hmm, actually, maybe I won't give her that because she's not going to be using as many lightning chargers. She still has the speedy light feet. I would give them three. They deplete at one per turn and you gain three temporary hit points. So you can't get temporary hit points from more than one source and I don't think this stacks onto itself. So while cool, I don't know if it's actually that good. What about the Sunwalker's gift? What does this do? Sunwalker's gift. The worker can see, up, or see in the dark up to 12 meters. I mean, we don't have... Like, no one has rings, so I'm going to give this to Ash. Uh, boots of... I almost read that as something else. I'm sure you can figure out. Boots of gen Genial Striding. <laughs> genial Strider. Uh, the wearer's movement is unimpeded by difficult terrain. That's kind of cool. Cinder Shoes. Whenever you burn an enemy, you gain two turns of heat. What is heat? Engulfed by heat, you take 1d4 fire damage each turn, but can use heat convergence... Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one damage for every turn of heat remaining. Okay. Um, sounds 
like that would be good for um Carlac, but Carlac already has oh hello. It's just uh once per long rest magic missile amulet. Yeah. I'll be taking that. And I'm gonna take the circle of blasting too. Because that seems pretty good. Um I think I'm going to also Oh, you got all kinds of uh, alchemical reagents as well. I'm I'm taking it all. Hill giant finger? Mud method wing? There's so many more alchemical things. Pegasus feathers? Are these all things we can fight? Or find in the game? Like... And you got you have a ton of money. I can sell a bunch of stuff to you. Um, scroll of Remove Curse. We, we already have that. Scroll of Hypnotic Pattern. Hypnotize creatures that can see the pattern. They cannot attack you. They cannot move or act. I reckon damaging them is going to break that. But I want Dimensional Door. For various reasons. And, uh... I think I want... Slow as well. We can give that to, uh... Oh, no. Um... Ah, perfect. We can do it this way. Uh, so I can give her... Or give him, uh, these. Yeah, it's gonna cost us a bit. That's alright. See what else we, uh, we can give him. Uh, I've got, like, a ton of things. I'm actually going to, uh, do some more, uh, excess well. selling. I have mushrooms to catalog. But I'll do that uh, in my own time, and then I'll be uh, right back. Yes, she is cataloging corn to infertility rituals. Oh, well, perhaps after I finish my research here, I'll join her. Hmm. Well, very interesting. So I, uh, I sold a lot of stuff. I uh, sold all of the excess weapons that I had. So uh, we're no longer encumbered and all that, so we're gonna go and look for um, the stuff that we need. What's in this pouch? Who knows? Nothing, apparently. Uh, there's a dead myconid. That is unfortunate. We can take these glow caps. Okay, those ones there we cannot, but these ones we can. And we should not loot the dead myconid. It's, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do any of that business. Spicy pork sausage. Pork it's they won't mind if I take that. It's not like they can eat spicy pork sausage. They're mushrooms. Oh. You're another traitor. Interesting. There's more here. This, it's not just, uh... Rotten eggs. It's not just myconids. And a deep roth. Oh, these are the, uh... <laughs> the livestock creatures that exist here. Very cool. I oh, I have animal, uh... Want Master back? He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Who kicked you? Did you kick her? It? Seems the him? shrooms are letting in more people every day. Yeah. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Mm, nope. Mm, can you describe Old him? Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. Mm. Haven't seen right. him. Never mind. Mm, who is he, dude? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Need some help finding him. Or I could look for him for a price. Please. I know better than to promise coin to a stranger. He'll find his own way out, or he won't. I'll wow. wait a little longer. What a bleeding waste it'd be to come all the way down here for nothing. Gee. So what's... Well? Uh, show me your wares. What do you got? Okay, you got... Armor. And other things. Let's have a look at the uh, magic items here. We got, I think, enough uh, crossbows. These seem more basic types of items. This is just, uh, yeah, stuff with pluses. Um, but I'll quickly have a look. Powdered armor plus two. I already have that. Ringmail plus two is trash, because ringmail is trash. Do correct me if there's something that makes ringmail good. I, I don't know. It looks kind of terrible. Amulet of Restoration allows free use of healing word and mass healing word. Uh, that's kind of cool. And you have a lot of alchemy. Pale pink dye, pale green dye, pale orange dye. Not what I need. But you do have a ton of alchemy stuff, which is things that I can use. Uh, I could buy... 
But you know what? For now, ooh, corrosive flail. That's uh, it's technically only a plus one flail. Tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyways. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. We don't need to sell anything anymore, so it's good to know that she's here. What are you doing down right here? Right now. Waiting for my idiot husband's return. Lest you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. Wow. There must be something else you're up to. Like I told you already, I'm waiting for that lummox Balin. The rest is my own business. She called him a lummox. <laughs> Alright, where's the, uh, what? Hook horror spore servant? Okay, so this finally shows me what hook horrors look like. I never knew what they looked like. They were in the Drizzt books. Scary. This one's been covered in mushrooms, so it's even scarier looking. Uh, that's cool. Can we talk to it? Seek me. Okay. No, gotta seek the sovereign. Well, I don't know where the sovereign that's, is. This is. That's interesting. Yeah, the mushrooms can raise the dead. That's a little stench in exchange for a lot of power. Yeah. Oh, sovereign glut. Oh, you're glut. Hi. You're uh. Big. What are you? Fresh walker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. <laughs> um. Yeah. Fill your heart with you with memories of your most treasured places. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. I do not belong here. I am not welcomed here. So these aren't yours. I grow among them, yet I am not of them. Interesting. You gonna tell me more? I grow... No. So, that's kind of weird. We're supposed to talk to him, but... Unless it's a different Sovereign. Because this is kind of implying that... Um, this isn't the Sovereign? I mean, it, it's the Sovereign, for sure. But what if there's another Sovereign? Is what I'm getting at. Can't reach it. I call bullshit. Ow. Okay. Wait, isn't this what we need? A barrel stock? This goddamn bibber bang just fucking... Tried to take me out. Alright, you guys wait right here. I'm gonna go... No, not hiding. All the group mode. Time to press ahead. Mikanid knows of your transgressions. Oh. Fuck. They must be punished. Try to talk your way out. Uh, it was simply a misunderstanding. It was actually a misunderstanding. The Mikanid calms. You may go in peace. Okay. So, yeah, I don't remember exactly what we needed, but apparently. Yeah, I know. It's gonna happen. Okay, at least I got the thing that I needed. Ouch. So, that one's just out of reach forever, I guess. Cool. Um, and all of this stuff I can't take. Thankfully, we can just walk through here. Chasm Creeper over here. Wow, it, is that also part of it? Colony? I thought we needed to talk to, uh... Oh, Durgar Spore Servant. So they managed to take out some of the Durgar. But, again, I don't think this is the, uh... This is the right Sovereign. Because this is not the Sovereign of this place. This is just a different Sovereign. From a different... At least I kind of know what we're looking like. You know what? I bet you're up here. Yeah, Sovereign Spa. There we go. Makes sense. Hula. And we have a dead Durgar. You are a... Another Durgar. Interesting. 
What is the creature? What is the the creature? sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you really cool. as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. Her violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwegar invaders? We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. Why did these Dwegar attack? Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, ah. chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. You harbor a fugitive gnome. Admirable of you. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Um. Sure. Yeah, I know what it's doing to those corpses. <laughs> it's, uh, reusing them. Sure, I can handle those Dwergar. No problem. An illusion comes over you. A Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. Ooh. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. All right. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I mean, I would have done it for free. It greets you with a harrowing Oop. elegy, cheerless as the uh, new I moon. I wasn't clicking on it. Look at this. You can see, like, the mycelial roots spreading out. Yeah, it's it's reanimating them. Wow. That's so cool. I like that they are, their organization, organization, their their hive colony, colony would be better, is called a circle. Because, of course, you know, um, mushrooms form circles. It's uh, really cool. I like these guys quite a lot. Let's talk to Thula here. You're the fugitive gnome. Don't. Don't what? Her condition is familiar. Poison. Derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the Poisoner. Um. Give her an antitoxin? Did that help? Seems like it needed a specific one, but maybe just generally any <gasps> antitoxin. God! Whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? Uh. Does there have to be a reason? Down here? Tends to be. But I'm nearly good to get on my feet. I thank you for your help. But I gotta get moving. Oh. No, you. <sighs> it hurts. Yeah, it's doing good deeds. Goals, garters. Oh. I don't have time for this. My kin need me. You're in no condition to help anyone. Maybe not. But you are. I need you to rescue my kin. We can pay. We're Ironhand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. Hmm. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. Yeah, as we tend I to got do. away, but not the others. 
The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. What are the Dwargar digging for? Some dusty temple. It doesn't matter. They'll work my clan to death before they ever get near it. It's the Salunag temple, isn't it? Alright, uh... What was this expedition your clan were on? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. But our work pays well. So Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. I know. But here. I nabbed these boots from the greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwergar ass. <laughs> you stole a Dwergar's boots while you were fleeing from one. Wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? <laughs> All right. So, we have a couple of things here. Boots of speed. Click heels. What does that do? Click the heels of your boots to gain speed and freedom of movement as a bonus action. Uh, that's going to Lazel. Like well yeah, I think I'm going to make Lazel like a super fast. Because Okay, so she's not using the, uh, the lightning stuff right now. So, you're going to wear these at the moment. They don't match the rest of your gear. I mean, they are red. And what else did we get from the oh, Mycanid? Yeah. Haste Spore Grenade. Explodes in a cloud of invigorating energy that hastens creatures within. Oh my god. That's an AoE haste ability, is what I'm getting at. For maybe only as long as we stay in the cloud? Another I mean, step screw forward. that. Well, let's go. Let's go kill some Durgar. They're jerks anyways. Um, so, Lakeside, huh? I mean, let's actually just use the environment where we can. Because uh, I think there should be a lake... Uh, that's a chasm. Lakes down that way? I mean, generally speaking... Water is down. That is a big old building over there. And then there's this lake. Is this a lake? This is more of a... Yeah, you know what? This might be a lake. Yeah, that looks like a lake. Never mind. I don't know what it is. We're gonna head over this way. Um... But, I think we're going to do that in the next episode, because this episode's gone on long enough. But this was fucking cool. I knew the Underdark was going to be awesome. Like, it's the Underdark is always awesome. But, this was this was especially awesome. A friendly Illithid. Um, a non-sketchy Hobgoblin. Like, this is just really cool. Can we get there somehow? You know what? I bet Lazel can get there. Sorry, we're doing one last thing. Lazel can jump really far. When she uses her, uh, stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. This is a large... Quickly, then. ...egg. Okay. Four gold. Nothing else in here? Uh... Very sketchy. Can't jump onto there. Like, what, what was in here? <laughs> that is a gigantic egg. Slightly unnerving. Uh, I guess you're just gonna have to take some damage as you jump down. Could better fall it, but screw it. Is that blood? Yeah. No, never mind. So yeah, guys, uh, drop this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Um, I, I, this was, I think, one of my favorite moments yet in Baldur's Gate was uh, getting down into the Underdark and exploring it. I love subterranean stuff, especially when there's glowy shit all over the place. It just looks so cool. And the perpetual sound of running water, everything kind of glistening with that subterranean dampness. The awesome mushroom people, they're just fucking cool. Myconids are, are one of my favorite yeah, species from, from how I remember them. And, uh, yeah, it, it seems they're just as awesome now. They're just, they're, they're kind of friendly. They're one of the few friendly things down in the Underdark. And I'm glad we found them, and I'm glad we can help them. I would help them for free, but, hey, Ash isn't going to turn down some loot. So, uh, we're, of course, going to get rewarded for our efforts, both for wiping out the Durgar and, hopefully, freeing the Deep Gnomes. The Deep Gnomes are nice, too, so that's another nice species down in the Underdark. But, uh, yeah, guys, that'll be all for today. I will catch you all in the next episode. Ash Herder out.